this one yeah. helps me. I'll show you. Give me the big crystal. Uh, wrapped or unwrapped? Uh, unwrapped. Oh, this one. Yeah, just a raw, just a raw crystal of any kind, like this. Uh, this is better. The fat crystal is better than that crystal. For this. Okay. Here's a single point crystal, folks. Check this out. Single point crystal. Matrix on the bottom, okay, single point, that's all it is. It's just a simple hex. All I'm gonna do, take this, never hold it like this. Never like this, that's overhand. Always hold it underhand like this, if you're gonna use these guys at all. Okay, what you do, you take a tuning fork and you strike it. Hold it on this end at the base of the tuning fork so that the tune so that it comes through the crystal. Mm -hmm. Then put that on your points. Oh, are you gonna have a result you won't believe? And then different crystals produce different things. The ones that are treated with uh, the gold uh, matrix kind of those. Ooh, wow, those are amazing. They're a little smaller. You have to hold them a little bit differently. Those you have to hold, they're, they're more like this rather than this, when you have a two finger, this is, so one finger poi, two finger poi, basically. What? One finger poi, two finger poi, three finger poi, four finger poi, because it's how thick the poi is, or how thin it is, really thin poi, four finger, really thick, one, two finger. Two finger poi, comes up easy, neat. Four finger, it's like soup. Poi. Something to Never eat. been to Hawaii. <laughs> it's near Hawaii. Okay, one more thing with this that you can do is um, holding it underhand like this, holding underhand like this, with a wrapped piece. Especially this will work great. But you could use a raw it? crystal. Why not? It's okay. Use mm -hmm. use. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you what to do with it. Oh, we have a round, round wrap. Well, this is fine. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got a little bit of a coil around it. Now, notice, this is the same as any other coil, but it has a lot of air, lots of air, between each wrap. This creates leaky wave. Leaky wave is our friend. Leaky wave is good. Leaky wave is how we get around, how we move, and it's how the mercury drive works, which we'll talk about at length some point we'll talk about the mercury drive mercury swirls okay this little guy is it has a round end on one side and it has a round end on the other side with a curl like this this is the pressure side this is going to be your squeeze side here you take this like a uh, basically oh give me the round if you have a round there also so and I'm going to ask Claude to explain this to yes. Oh, ooh, is that a beauty too? What a crystal this is. Did we send this out already? Is it? No, that's not <sighs> going. La la la, this is gorgeous. Um, I'm going to do the other way. They're, they're both beautiful, but this is absolutely exceptional. That's it is exceptional. First of all, where do these come from? These come from friends of ours. These are actually friends of ours, longtime friends. I've known them for 40, 45 years at least. They are Native American, and they operate a mine. Uh, and in that mine, they get these crystals. They also get phantoms from time to time, like four or five of those a week, phantom crystal, phantom quartz, with this little ghost inside it that you can see. These are very, very beautiful, very clear, wonderful, large, super large, crystals and they are very very potent so I'm going to ask Claude to explain cathode anode to you so you understand what that is and I'm going to refer to I'll have you um, research the Crookes tube C-R-O-O-K-E-S Crookes tube and I will tell you now, it is the progenitor of the x-ray tube. It is not the x-ray tube, many people think it is. It is the progenitor too. It is the thing that led to the discovery of the x-ray tube, directly to it. 
but it has many other properties. The properties are cathode and anode. And many of those properties are diodal, which I'd like him to get into with you. So this is cathode, and we would use one for cathode, one for anode. And you'd use these on both sides of your client, like this. And they are amazing. I'll let you hold them. The round of the right hand, and I think I would work with one like this and one square, one round, one square, or one triangle. That's a triangle. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you just, yeah, you're just gonna you're just gonna use the, the use the force. <laughs> yeah, they don't like your dad says. Use the force. <laughs> Anybody willing to you want to be a subject for her for a second? Sure. Come on. Just just do what you would normally do with any energetic stuff. Don't you're not gonna do any body work except energetics at this moment. Mm. And all you're doing is softening her up for later. Mm. Don't do it. Right. Behind those cameras though, because Yeah. Maybe oh, over there? Right over there is good. Yeah. That'd be good. Then you can turn the cameras and get this. So what she's gonna do from me. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> If you're going to go out and warn us. I might fall down. <laughs> no, no, you'll be all right. It should be fine. Okay. What, what hat are you wearing? She's not. I don't. Oh, I her. took it not off. Not you. Oh. She's not wearing oh, yeah. it yet, but she chose. Okay. Maybe you Which should do profile choose? so that we can see what you're doing. Well, I'm not really comfortable oh. doing this oh. on camera like this. No, it's okay. It's, oh, okay. This is just a, an experiment. Mm -hmm. It's okay. okay. But I want you to put an Emmy on quick or just hold one. Uh, oh, and give her one. This is the one that she liked first. Purple one? Yeah. You can put it even in right. your pocket. Yeah. Put it in your pocket or whatever. Just hold on to the thing. And all you're going to do is just kind of play the energy around her a little bit. And then we're going to have somebody else do the same thing, basically. <laughs> <laughs> They're both very sensitive. <laughs> yeah. So backwards. <laughs> Okay, Eric, come on over here and see if she's exaggerating the reaction. Yeah. You got to check it out. You want to check this out. It's got to be King's new clothes or nothing. I can feel it here. Yeah. I know, but just let this. Let's just let. Let's get Wait, a second opinion. Wait, go but over that and yeah. just see. Get a second opinion. It's the same move. strong, but this is really good for you. No, I'm feeling the He room. can feel, yeah, yeah. It's like it's totally acting on a whole different thing. It's like all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay, I'll explain to you. Good, thanks. Thanks very yeah. much. I'll give him back. It to, felt like it was. Yeah, I just went. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, let me explain to you what these are. These are energetic. They're very, very strong, very energetic devices. But they're not actually devices. These things are living things. They're alive. And if you understand how to work with them, they become familiars, or they uh, they will work with you as uh, as you would also be working with, let's say, um, uh, nature spirits, and so forth. But these are actually living beings, and they work the same way that the root prim works in Second Life. What you're doing is you're holding a pair of root prims and you're directing the projections through those. It's, it's projecting from those things. What happens is it affects the entire map, not just this room. Every, the whole map is affected by these two rays that are moving back and forth, so everything adjusts to compensate for these movements, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And so you're getting ripple from everything in every direction. So your body is rippling a little bit, it's going out of, out of uh, phase a little bit. Some of the things that will happen is you'll have strange, kind of, um, like what happens, you were talking about the earth rippling when there's an earthquake, you can sometimes see the earth just like water. It goes like, well, your body is also mostly water. When you take these things over that energy field, 
what happens, these are so powerful, but they're not in the magnetic area. They're not electromagnetic at all. It's a totally different force. It's a force that is unknown to science today. There's another force. When they take that force into consideration, then their stupid equations will start to work. Mm.